Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about must-have fall clothes, at least in my opinion. I tried to keep this as interesting as possible because there are so many fall staple clothes that you could have and I could go on and on about this topic for forever. But it's finally fall. I get to wear my Hello Kitty sweater and that rarely ever happens so I'm very very excited about today. I tried to mix things up as much as possible just so just because I know there's so many videos about out there about what you should have for fall and there are honestly just so many things and so many options nowadays. I just am sticking to five things that I'm going to be wearing this fall winter season and I'm gonna make it a little bit vlog style because anyone can show you outfits and say this is what I'm going to be wearing but if they don't actually wear it in public is it a feasible option? No. Now we have the first item which is cargo pants. I think it is so critical to have a pair of cool baggy pants that you can style many different ways and have to wear throughout the season. Good thing about cargo pants is that they're so durable. They don't stretch out as you wear them and they just give a really cool effortless vibe to anything you are wearing. They can also dress up a plain simple t-shirt just because of the added details of the buttons and the different stitching and also the way the denim is sewn together and held together with the different rivets. So this is one of the ways that I would style these cargo pants. I think that they give this otherwise basic look a little bit more of a twist. They're really comfy and they're really warm and such a fall wardrobe staple. Very easy to dress up or dress down. I think it would be cool if you did like a corset kind of top and a blazer with them, but today I've just styled them really casual with my knit sweater and sneakers. Cool. Second item that I think is a must for every person's wardrobe is just a really nice, beautifully knitted cardigan. And there are many, many different variations of this that you can go for, but this is my favorite cardigan, period. It's one of the only ones I own. I'm really not a cardigan kind of girl, but this one is very cool because you can have it buttoned up, you can have it open, you can wear nothing underneath, you can pull it off your shoulder. There's just so many styling options with this piece. It's a fraction of the price as the Kate cardigan. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I really love the Kate cardigan. I think it's beautiful, but honestly, who has a thousand dollars to drop on a cardigan? I think this one is still a bit more pricey. It's about three hundred dollars, but I honestly love it. The quality is amazing and I'm wearing it every year. A timeless piece. This is one of my favorite outfits styled with the cardigan I just showed you guys. I'm pairing it with these black denim jeans and some fun little Converse with Scooby Doo on them. Scooby Doo! I really like this look because it feels very laid back and easygoing. The cardigan kind of slips off your shoulder throughout the day. Sometimes I like to pull it up and adjust it. If I'm looking for a more uptight vibe and I also like the sleeves because you can wear them really really long or you can pull them up which is probably my favorite way to wear them. Well we're getting through this video pretty quickly we're already on to the third item which is a bucket hat. I think bucket hats are just a fun cool way to spice out your outfit cover up your hair if you're having a bad hair day there's this brand that I am really, really interested in buying a bucket hat from. It's called, I think, Rat Hat Rat. I'll leave their Instagram handle up here. Their hats have been featured in Vogue magazine and I think Elle, maybe a few other magazines. But they are the coolest hats ever. They are handmade and each piece is one of one. They do little drops on their Instagram and I'm just waiting to find the perfect hat because... They do so many cool ones and I just can't decide on what I want and what I'm looking for. I also have this bucket hat in a blue color, which is also very nice. I feel like there isn't a lot of pink in my wardrobe, even though I'm wearing pink right now. I feel like the blue goes with a lot of other things. 
you can wear these with the cargo pants and just try to spice up your everyday basic look with a white tee and just have a pop of color in your hat i think that would be super cute and super fun okay item number four we have right here and no i'm not saying you need a pair of loafers i'm saying you need to go and get yourself a good pair of platform shoes i have this pair from ghani and i can't tell you how much i love them i wear them all the time i'm obsessed i love having a little bit of extra height you can keep it classy you can pair them with bell bottom pants and that really makes your legs look so long you can wear them with leggings shorts and tights i mean honestly the list is endless there are some other brands that i think make some pretty good platform shoes and then there's another brand that makes a good platform loafer i'll leave some options for you guys down below in the description box but these are my choice when it comes to shoes it's these babies this is an example of how i would style these platform shoes this is honestly my favorite way to wear them just with a pair of flared pants. I love the contrast of the wide leg at the bottom in comparison with the platform of the shoe. I'm just wearing a knitted sweater, my everyday bag, and it's a very easy, simple look. I really didn't want to include a boot in this video, but the final item I do have to show you is a boot. I know everyone says you need a boot for the fall winter season. It is so, so true. I could not not mention these. These are the Anne de Mulemester boots. They have pretty long laces. They tie up in the back and you can just kind of tie them around, have a little bow on the front or the back of your shoe. They're just really, really cool and edgy. You can dress them up or dress them down. They are so slimming along this part of your leg. They just suck you in. I think everyone just needs a good pair of boots you can dress up. It's just nice to have a good pair of sturdy boots to keep your feet warm during this time of the year. And sometimes when the weather starts getting gross and it's like rainy or snowy, having something that goes over your ankle and that can just walk through any kind of weather is convenient this is how i decided to style these boots for today this outfit is basically something that i like to wear when i am completely over wearing clothes and i just want to be in something really comfy and cozy but i still don't want to look slumpy and frumpy like i would in sweatpants so i'm wearing a pair of ribbed knitted leggings tucked into my boots and then just a random band t-shirt from Realization Park. Depending on how the weather is, I would throw on a puffer jacket or maybe a fleece jacket and that would complete the look. This is essentially a continuation of the outfit I was wearing earlier, only with this hat. It gives a nice pop of color to the look. So I just threw on a puffer to stay warm and I'm wearing the same clothes as earlier in addition to my orange Izzy Miyake Bao Bao bag. I really like these two colors together, orange and pink. I think they're very fun. Maybe this outfit isn't for you with the color combinations, but I think it's a fun way to bring a little bit of life into an outfit that would usually just be all black. Well, those are my five fall winter essentials. Let me know if you want to see a video of me styling more outfits. And I wanna know what are your fall winter wardrobe essentials? Like what are your must have things that you constantly wear every year or that you incorporate in to kind of spice up and elevate a basic regular fall look? I would love to know. Let me know also what you think of this format for the videos. Did you like me showing you what I was wearing during the week? And, or do you prefer when I just show you all at once from the comfort of my apartment? I think it's time for me to stop rambling, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.